Hi everyone, this is a bit of time we're back again with Hitman Blood Money now. As we stand at the end of this game, the end of 47 story as far as Hitman Blood Money is concerned, we contemplate the rise of Chaos Man. We contemplate how 47 has been so meticulous, so focused on perfect execution. How it could be that he could turn to the ways of chaos? How could this have happened? And we go back. We go back to to his daring assassination of the sub cheese To the day he sat on that plane. And in a moment he could never have anticipated. A little rubber ducky was shoved at his face. 47. Absolutely astounded by this moment. Astounded that he's defenses were so easily breached by this toy, its unassuming appearance and the fact that it could have had anything in it, it could have had an explosive in it, it could have had a firearm or poison or anything. He realized, oh man, for all my planning, chaos itself could have taken me down right then and there. And his mind just yielded to it. He realized that if you can't beat him, you gotta join him. And since then he's just been on a rampage because he's seen the error of his ways trying to be so accurate and meticulous when all he needed to do was just join the chaos. So from there sprang forth the chaos man and his endeavors to not only find the chaos in every mission but to find the corruption to point it out to the world and try and get the press to see what he's been doing. But now, at the very end of it, we finally confront what's happened. Finally, we get a chance to talk to the press and ask them, what have you been doing? Didn't you care what we said? So, we're gonna do it. We're gonna start this thing up. We're gonna do Requiem. We're gonna see what happens to poor 47. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be an expose on the funeral industry once again. 47. He's not wanna back down from a challenge. Let's see it. Let's see it for the first time. We're gonna actually entertain a bit of this. So this is poor 47. He's jamming with his, his um, canary, cleaning his firearms because that's just the way he goes. <coughs> No pizza delivery man today, but somebody's coming now. This is quite rough because the the canary made you think he's a sympathetic dude, but it it is not gonna be very nice for the canary. It's not gonna be very nice to look at Ooh, just wait, just wait. Ooh. Oh wait, canary. Pretty brutal. Gotta say, for seven, you got me there. Pretty brutal. Now, this is this is something quite cool because I think up to this point, Diana has just been a voice. Now she's actually making an appearance like this. Whoa! Seven, Diana. What are you doing here? Easy. I had to sneak First, Diana shows up to, to deliver a dossier right with some plan. It's, it's kind of odd. He's just been chasing cash this whole story as people were um, closing in on him. But he just wouldn't give up on the cash. Mm -hmm. <gasps> no, she wants to take it for herself. It. You've got nothing to gain here. The smart player would have been getting out of the country. Out of the country? We're dealing with a franchise here, 47. That's actually weird. 47 looks a bit You're my last chance. More emotional, in all honesty. <gasps> Cash on the nail. Don't you get Syringe it? Methods. You have to fight them. But if you try to do it alone, you're a dead man. Death is always a risk. Were you carefully? 47 is a bold plan. Where is this the wheelchair local guy antibiotic? Right now? Oh. Ah. Ah. oh man. Sorry. Run. Sorry. Run, he might, he's, he's going quadrupedal, he's not fast enough bipedal, so he's going for a four-legged approach. Ah, oh, he's down. There he goes. Oh man, that's rough. We've got four minutes before he's called, people, let's move. Hmm, that's the wheelchair man. 
So he's been betrayed. So you can see he's been betrayed. It's quite rough. You can actually see the polygonal shape in the calves there. So you can see the limitation of the graphics. It just is what it is. It's still such a good game. I'm sure we'll find an appropriate role for you in the organization. A woman like yourself is entitled to a very special role, indeed. Hmm. I might have actually checked how this ties in with um, Absolution. Because the end of, of Blood Money, you know, is a basically start of Absolution. No, 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 not not tied in. It's gotta be tied in some way. Since how can you expect me to believe I it? don't expect you to believe anything but your eyes. Mm. This videotape confirms his presence in the White House moments Fuel before the assassination. Has not properly assessed his condition. If cloning is an outlawed, we'll all be damned. Who actually Dude, killed him? That's surprised. the most delicious irony of all. He stumbled coming over the compound wall, severed his spinal cord on the rocks. The world's most nefarious assassin Light. died of clumsiness. He's a logical journalist. His DNA includes signature sequences from the five men of the Ortmeier project. He's gonna make the journalist lie. Oh impossible man! For anyone but the Ortmeier clone to have that fix DNA. This. You're giving me all this as an exclusive. Why me? We admire your objectivity, Rick. Thank you. Don't mention it. Now we're we in pro mode, chapter. so this is actually gonna be real tough. Are going to take pride of this was tough in normal. Mantle. I've, I've no Chaplain. idea I'm even going to survive this in pro. This might take a lot more effort. So, this is the level. <clears throat> now, you could lie here and do nothing, but then you'll get cremated. You have a decent amount of time at least. Um, so, I think if you actually wait a bit, some of them might move away. I can't fully remember. There's, whew, there's a lot of agents. I don't even remember there being this many last time. Whew, this is going to be tough. I'm actually quite scared. I'm just going to dart off to that edge as soon as I can. Are any of them moving? Okay, if I fail, I fail, then I'll have to just do it again. Because this is going to be real tough. Now! Yep, let's hope I get some headshots. Oh, I can reload fast enough. Oh, else we're gonna have to start again because this is just too tough on pro. Yep, we're gonna have to start again. This level is gonna be tough on pro. I'll do this and I'll include the play uh, the playthrough of the last attempt because I think this is gonna take a while. This level is gonna be brutal. So yes, yeah, see you then. <laughs> So let's see if lightning, if we can get this done. I still don't know if they're gonna leave. It's my only problem. Where can I do the most damage? Or can I? No, I can't. Can't do the silently. Run, 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 run. Oof. Running out of ammo. Okay, we survived. Oh, there's still more coming. We're going to struggle with this. Dude, this dude's just putting suppressing fire. I can't remember if the FBI guy can actually run away. <coughs> I know the press can't. <coughs> Come on, it's not a time for a dry throat. So this is a very beautiful church, I gotta say. Just look at all this. It looks quite futuristic. Although there are architectural structures built long ago that look quite futuristic. Let's just get this FBI man. 
Let's get the FBI man. He's gonna. He's got a gun on him, so there you go. Okay, so he's done now. We've got the priest and the journalist. Now here's our chance. Here's our chance to ask the press. Now I, I'm doing this on the fly, so I should have really thought about it. Pop. Okay. Don't worry, dude. Don't worry. Okay, so you might wonder what am I gonna do? Well, this might take a while. Let me see how many different firearms I can get. I can get three. I think I can get three. I can get the SLP pistol. And I can get the um I've got my silver bullets, but they're empty. And I've got the MP7. So you might be wondering what why are you talking about the guns? I'll show you, here's my plan. The press obviously they've been they've been tricked to some degree. It it might be that they've just been tricked. So you see the dude was lying to him. He told him to get rid of the sky. I can't even get rid of the sky, that's terrible. Um he, he lied to him, he told him uh, that I tripped. It was a lie, it's awful. It made the press deceive people. So we have to give the press chance to defend themselves, defend all the things they've been saying about 47. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back all the way. Let's start on the first one. Let's ask this man about the healthcare. Let's ask him about the the Paris Theatre healthcare. Let's see if if the press can defend themse um, themselves in this case. Because hello, are you coming? Are you coming to defend yourself? There you go. Where's he going? Come back here. I'm gonna give you a chance to defend yourself. Look, what happened? Here you go. Chance to defend yourself now. I want to know what happened with the Paris Theatre. Why didn't you tell him about my awesome expose? Show him, show him the the health insurance problems with the place. And he doesn't seem to be willing to say anything. Okay, so let's. What's what's the next one? Do do construction industry. Let's let's hear it. Oh, what was that? I think he might have made a leap. I think I wanted to take a leap or something. <coughs> But don't worry, we got time, we got time. So, next question, Mr. Mr. Sir, don't stop running away. I want to ask you a question. Okay, as I'm jogging next year, the construction industry, you didn't properly do an expose of the pool that ruptured oh so easily. I'll come back here. So what have you got to say for yourself? Did, did, did you know was the, was the sun protection... Uh, article in there for me was it uh, protection you you know you see you feel me oh, what was that here's a gun Just defend yourself ah okay you won't defend oh, no. what was our next expose our next expose hmm I'm actually having a little trouble remembering that could oh yeah expose on the FBI did you see the ex what I've uncovered with the agents of the FBI, they weren't very attentive, they were making mistakes all over the place. What do you got to say about that? Hmm, you didn't properly cover that expose. Oh, he's still, he's very admir- Ooh, I, <laughs> I think he, he's considering it, he's considering defending himself. Let me think, I've, I've still got to ask him about the house hunting. He wouldn't cover my, my expert investing strategy. And I keep feeling that I'm missing out on something. What am I missing out on? My freedoms wasn't covered by the press. Me trying to explore my freedoms. Just, just look at this thing. It's got a funky reception. This, well, for one thing, the expose on this place because oh, they don't do a very good job of cremating people if they don't properly see what the, what the situation is with them. Hey, eh, you guys got no idea. I was lying on there, you could have falsely cremated me, it's terrible. Come on, there's gotta be something left here. I'm quite chuffed that I managed to, to defend myself. But let's see, let's see, we're gonna need to... SLP, you got, you got any more MP7s? I saw one, I saw a little flash there, MP7. Okay, so we're getting two defenses. We got the house hunting, and what was the other one? I'm sure we gotta have another one. We didn't, we never did an expose on the lift hatches, but that's okay, because that's just an overall observation. We didn't do on, on that, uh, I'm trying to think back. What exposes, what wonderful things has 47 uncovered with the system? Beyond the um, savvy investing strategies. 
I'm actually gonna call it. Let's call it that. And we're gonna give him one last chance to defend himself, and then unfortunately we're gonna have to end this meeting because the press, the press simply they won't defend defend the assertions they made. So can you tell me you didn't cover my investment strategy, my friend? There's a chance to defend yourself, but you you wouldn't give me a chance to to explain to people my investing strategy. Huh? What's up with that? Ah, he's, he's still silent, this dude's so professional. Well, sorry my friend, we're gonna duel it out in single car. I don't, I think they're overriding his code. Because the NPCs are supposed to grab pistols and you can see he wants to. He wants to, the press wants to join in the fray. But they're just not letting him, so I think we've, we've come to the end of this. We've come to the end of this game. I almost don't want to show this, because... I feel quite bad we're not giving this press man a chance to redeem himself to write the article that would have fixed this as, as well as a complaint article about the funeral, about the, the uh, crematorium forces. Mm, let's actually use this now. Nah, I'm going to have honor in this. I gave that to him. He just won't use it. So that's the way it is. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Press Man. We've had a lot of fun. I've given you a chance to defend yourself, but I think this is it, so... There you go. Come on, man, I'm giving you... You are well within your rights to defend yourself. Pick up. Pick up the pistol. Give yourself a press defense. I've asked you about the exposés. It's quite sad, because I've tried leaving without taking him out, but you can't. You have to. It's basically part of the mission. It's quite mean, actually. Um, I wish there was like an alternate ending, but nice. It's, it's just this is poor man. He's gotta go. So sorry, my friend. Point. And yeah, there we go. We're gonna go to freedom. He's just walking on. There's all sorts of ev uh, of tools you can get in here. Uh, shears and all sorts of stuff. Quite cool. But you <laughs> if you wanna, you know, get and here's Diana again. So. That's very interesting the way this one ends. It gives a bit more uh, context or character no, to, uh, to Diana compared to the other ones. But yeah, I really like this game. I think it's fantastic. And this is one thing. Um, Eatman, Code 47, as well as Silent Assassin, the first two, um, had this lady that he... Johnson. Well, he essentially rescued her from the restaurant, from Lee Hong's yeah, restaurant. There we go. And she no, hadn't I'll made a return it. that I know of. I sort of wish that she did make a return in blood money. And I remember when I saw this outro the first time, I thought, hey, could it be? But I don't think they ever put her in another Hitman. They definitely didn't put her in Absolution. So that's quite sad because they did put Agent Smith in quite a few of them. But I don't. It wasn't an absolution either. So they sort of remade it, from what I can tell. Yeah, but this, I, I generally like this game. It's actually quite shocking uh, if you play it quite a few times to see just how, not insulting, but how simple uh, it is. Uh, the character models and everything, but they just did such a good job of it. It's a really good game. But this means we are. Rounding up on Hitman Blood Money. We gave the press the chances. We show Chaos Man. And now we're gonna go on to the next piece of the 47 adventure. We're gonna go on to Absolution. I don't know if I ever read if I will ever redouble back to the previous iterations of Hitman. Sound Assassin was awesome. Um, I'll look into it, but for now we're gonna focus in on Absolution because uh, they're the two I played the most. So, you know, I think I might end on this outro, because it's quite a good one. Um, yeah, this has been Hitman Blood Money. It'll be the final episode that I'll be doing on it. Um, this has been Edward Retired, so thank you very much for everybody who's been watching in on this series. I genuinely love this game, and I think it's really well done. 16, 16, 17 years old. Still a very good game, so thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye-bye.